Happy Wednesday, everyone. I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for checking me out. Welcome to any new people stopping by for the first time, and welcome back to all my wonderful subscribers. Unfortunately, it seems that the unseasonably mild winter we've been having has come to an end. It snowed last night. It was still snowing when I got up this morning. It's been cold enough. I've had my heater on for a little over 24 hours now. Um, I mean, I like it cold, but there, I even I have a limit. The thermostat inside the house said 58 degrees when I got up this morning, and that was with the heater on ever so slightly. I'd rather it be cold and, you know, use my electric blanket. That's more fun. So, excuse me. I promise I'm not always that boring. So anyway, I have my my shelves. My yarn shelf you can see here is so far survive is surviving the cats. I did catch Max on it. One, two, three, four. The fourth shelf from the bottom, whatnot. Anyway, next to the top, he was on it, and before I caught him last night, and then a little bit later after that. I caught him before he got on it, so I was able to, you know, squirt him with the water bottle, and he hasn't gone near it since. Little Miss, amazingly, has pretty much ignored it. I mean, other than sniffing it when I first um, got it set up, got the armpit on there, she's been she's been behaving. She spends most of her time in the bathroom window watching the neighborhood, and Max has the one that has been turning into um, the clingy little sucker that's got to be always on always on my lap or near me and right now he's in the llama head so so um i did take the shelf that i built on the live stream i did take it and split it into two different shelves you know one level three you know three level shelf one four level shelf and so i have a little bit more storage space but i have definitely hit my max on furniture uh, from here on out, any furniture comes in means something else has got to leave. So, but I've got everything I need so far that I can come up with, that I can think of anyway. So. Oh, and I found out, that, and I'm sure y'all, a lot of y'all have heard me talking about the Ruby Kit Kats that I found in Mexico that you can't find in the U.S. The only place, like, only way I could get them in the U.S. was to order them off Amazon from a website that shipped them in from England, but I, I haven't found Ruby Kit Kats, but I did find out that the local Whole Foods sells Ruby chocolate. So it's just like a regular, like a Hershey bar, basically, but it's made out of the Ruby cocoa beans. So even though I have Prime, I wasn't going to spend $35, excuse me, at Whole Foods, which honestly probably would have been like four items. <laughs> um, I wasn't going to spend more than I wanted to at Whole Foods just to get the free shipping. I will be house sitting for David um, starting this weekend, and so I, while I'm house sitting with him for him, I will have access to a vehicle. So I will definitely go out to Whole Foods and stock up on that chocolate because that is some amazing stuff. And hopefully that the Ruby chocolate that they have is just as good as the Ruby Kit Kats were. If not, then I will just order more from Amazon. I just, I, you could get more Ruby Cocoa if you got the set that Whole Foods sells. You know, you get a better deal, I guess, price per ounce versus the um, Ruby Kit Kat. Now, as far as knitting and crocheting, I finally, finally, finally finished this blanket, my, my knit blanket. Um, it's an odd shape it's I mean it's not really that wide but you know it's that long so but I like it because when I'm sitting on the couch and I've got my feet up on the ottoman it perfectly just covers my legs or I can sit there and do this with it and it's nice and stretchy and I like it so I have that one done so that is my finished object now as far as whips go I have started another find it here, um, another market bag, and I have one, two, three, four, five more skeins of this color, and I've got roughly two and a half skeins of this color. 
and if people actually, you know, start showing an interest in actually buying them um, and wanting to buy them, Walmart sells this this particular yarn, the home deck, not necessarily this color, but the style of yarn, for less than six dollars a skein, which is about sixty percent of the cost of what the next cheapest place was that I was able to find it for. So that's not too bad. Um, I know I'm on a yarn band, but you know, hey, if it's for a project that someone actually wants, all rules are off. So now I do have a UFO that's going to get frogged. That was the cotton scarf that I had started um, crocheting for the person I'd met on that app. And I've just, I've lost contact with them. I haven't, um, I, you know, I've reached out to him and not really got a response back. So I'm like, at this point, since this is, um, I mean, I like the colors and I like the pattern The it's crystal from Bag of Days crochets, um, taste the rainbow pattern. I like the pattern and you know, the colors, but it's 100% cotton, so I would rather use that for, you know, use the yarn for something else, other than just another scarf. But I have plenty of acrylics that I can use. Only. Plenty of acrylics there um, that I can use for scarves. So, and then I've got, you know, the, the ever-present, you know, working on scrunchies. So that, this has become my go-to project for when I'm out running errands, you know, running public transportation or sitting in doctor's offices because the junk blanket that I've been working on, it's getting too big to be, to easily be, you know, transportable. So. Tomorrow normally would be therapy day. I'm hoping that they were closed today, which would have meant that they got a snow day. That, so, because I was looking at the weather forecast coming up and it looks like on Thursday, it's going to be below freezing, and I really have no interest in sitting out waiting for a bus when it's below freezing. And even if I do go to therapy, I wouldn't be taking um, Little Miss out in temperatures that cold. So, but I did email my therapist to give her a heads up that is like, hey, if it doesn't warm up, I'm going to reschedule. And since I didn't hear from her today, I'm assuming that meant that they had a snow day because she's really good about responding to emails so i what i'm figuring tomorrow is just going to be another day chilling out at the house um working on market bags and looking for you know another project to kind of uh, to alternate in with the bags so that i'm not doing this the same thing constantly i do need to reorganize my Whipmas tree that's over there because the majority of those are empty bags that I bought in Mexico. So I need to come up with a better place to store the bags rather than just hanging on the tree. Um, which probably will, they'll probably end up, I'll put, you know, most of the bags inside of another bag and then just store it in one of the shelves. But I just need to, especially with being a small space and having you know, a lot of stuff in a very small space. I have to make sure that I keep everything neat and tidy and well organized. Otherwise, it turns into chaos very quickly. So, anyway, that is what my day has been like today. Just chilling out, getting caught up on my YouTube videos. I actually just watched a video that was uploaded Sunday. So, I'm getting closer and closer to being caught up. So anyway, I will check in with you guys again tomorrow. Have a great day.